in New York at the Mines and Money Conference. I'm pleased to be with the Minister of Energy and Natural Resources of Quebec, uh, Minister Pierre Arcand. Thank you so much for being here, Mr. Arcand. Pleasure to be here. So talk to us about Plan Nord. Uh, for those of us who don't know what it is, what does it mean? Well, Plan Nord, it means that we have in the, the province of Quebec a huge territory uh, north of what we call the 49th parallel. Right. So that's about twice the size of Texas tells you how big it is. And of course, we have uh, very little population uh, and we have now decided to invest over the years now in infrastructure projects, in mining, and of course we invest also, uh, I would say, in social programs. We also uh, have made a commitment that this territory uh, would be part of it for industrial purposes, right. but in, in another way also for the protection of the environment. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, protected areas, we have areas also for tourism, uh, but it's a good balance between right. protected areas and industrial development. Okay. And of course we're very bullish because there's a lot of minerals in this area, right. whether we talk about gold, whether we talk about iron ore, uh, rare earth, lithium, right. Uh, right. all those minerals. Uh, so we're very bullish and the government will spend, I would say in the next 20 years, a minimum of $50 billion to work on those investments and the development of those infrastructures. Okay, and what is the value of the mineral shipments from Quebec? We have about 25,000 jobs uh, that have been created just with uh, the Plan A uh, directly. Uh, we export uh, a lot of things, but overall I would say that we have about $7.7 .7 billion of uh, exports that we wow. have made in the last few years. And just to give you an idea, we have a port in particular on the east part of the province called Cécile. And this port uh, has now the potential, the way we have designed it, to be as big as the port of Vancouver. So it's, uh, it's quite important. Just to give you an idea, about a year ago, we were exporting about 250,000 tons of iron ore. This year, it's going to be 1 million, and next year, 14 million. Wow. So we're now headed, I would say, in the right direction. And the price of iron ore, as you know, has surged a little bit in yes, the last yes. uh, few uh, months. So uh, there's a lot of potential. All right. And currently, how many uh, companies in Quebec are, are producing mining companies? Well, we have basically, when we look at mining operations, I would say we have about 30 mining companies that are in, uh, operating in the province. But I would add that we have probably, if you had the exploration companies plus other mining companies that have projects, you can add another 20 at least. Wow. And what is the business climate like uh, for, for these companies in Quebec? Well, the people are, uh, are happy for many reasons. One, we have a new mining law that has been developed that is quite pro-business. What does it mean? What does it do? The law? Well, it, it worked. We uh, simplify, first of all, uh, what the company have to do. Uh, and I would say what we have is predictability. People know exactly what they need to do, what the environmental regulations are, so there's no surprise. Also, we have created a corporation that we call Société du Plan Nord, which is a government body that helps really companies to invest in the north because it's not an easy task. You go in territories in which you don't have necessarily immediately all the infrastructure. Right. So the, the Société is there to uh, work with the companies, help them get the government certificates uh -huh. that are necessary to operate. Now lastly, Minister, I want to ask you what Plan Nord means for the people within the area. Well, I think it's very important that people see the economic benefits of that. And that's why I have a workforce on uh, what we call social acceptability of projects. And of course, we do some public hearings when we have some projects to make sure that this project fits with what the communities want in terms of job creation, in terms of uh, uh, development, uh, generally speaking. So the companies are well aware of that. And of course, 99.9% .9 of the projects are successful because we are able to uh, really establish 
what are the economic benefits for those populations. Well, Minister, thank you so much for your time. It's a pleasure. To get more videos from the Minds and Money Conference, you can go to smallcappower.com.